Alright, good afternoon YouTube. I am going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 5 on the iPhone 4. This same method will work for the iPad. Uh, first off, before I restore, I just want to show you that I do have a working jailbreak. Um, you can just tell by some of the customizations I have that this is not your typical iPhone. I mean, obviously you can tell by just some of my icons, and here's Cydia loading up. So, what I'm going to do is restore my phone, and I am going to show you how to build the software you need running Snow Breeze so that you can jailbreak your iPhone on iOS 5. So, let's get started. So, first thing you're going to need to do is download a few things. Now, don't worry because I will post all the links. First one is going to be this FelixBruns.de. You're going to come down here and you're going to find which software applies for your phone. I'm running the iPhone 4 on Verizon, the CD made, so I'm going to grab this one and download it. I've already done that and you're also going to need Snow Breeze 2.8 Beta 8 now I'll, I'll link this hot file address so that you can just click on it and go straight to it so what we're going to do is minimize this and we're going to act like we've already downloaded all the software just now we're going to open it up So first thing you're going to do is run Snow Breeze. Click OK. Close. And right here it does tell you it's a tethered jailbreak except for 3GS. Click Next. Browse. And come in and find your original iPhone 5.09A33 Restore. Double click it. And it tells us alright we got this click next expert mode next general battery percentage already is already enabled but do SSH it'll be a useful tool um, this is up to your discretion if you know what you're doing I like to make mine just a bit larger 1111 you can leave it at its base setup if you want you don't actually have to touch that and click next and just push through that and then build ISPW. I come here I don't really want to watch it or play Pac-Man so we'll just watch it and it's going to build our ISPW but I don't really need it to because I've already got it here I've made my own so what I'm going to do is close this and then reopen it so I didn't have to wait. That's going to give you something called iBooty right here. The iBooty, and that's how you'll boot tethered. So, once it finished building its ISPW, um, it would kick you to the screen I'm getting ready to go to. You won't actually have to do these steps, just let it build it and then go to this screen right here, is what will come up and it's telling us to shut our phone off so we're going to go ahead and do that now once you have your phone shut off you're going to click mm -hmm. start and it's going to run its little menu here power for five seconds then power and home for about ten or until the apple screen disappears and once that disappears you just let go and wait for your computer to ding mm -hmm. now it just ding so it's automatically going to run iRev once it runs iRev and you get this you are ready to restore in iTunes mm -hmm. so you can close all of this iTunes will pop up and it's going to tell us that 
it's found a phone in DFU mode and that it needs to restore. If it doesn't come up, just unplug it and plug it back in. Now it shows we're in recovery mode, so just click OK. Shift and restore. Sorry Mac users, I'm pretty sure that Snow Breeze is not Mac compatible yet. Just um, run Red Snow. I may actually make a quick video on that as well to show everybody how to do this. Um, for everybody who has just ran this, iBooty and your soft, your Snowbreeze software will be on your desktop, but I keep mine on an external hard drive. So you just find the Snowbreeze iOS that it just created, double click it, and restore. So to save us some time, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video, and when it comes to time to be ready, I will come back. So please hold on. Alright, so we're back, and once you get to the new iOS 5 screen, just go ahead and set everything up so that you can start using your iPhone. and you'll see everything there. Um, if you scroll over one screen you'll have Cydia but you'll notice that every time you click it it tries to open and it shuts down so what you're going to have to do is and like I said previously you will have um, Snow Breeze and iBooty on your desktop somewhere over here but for me I I move mine into an external folder to keep things off my computer. So what you'll do is you'll just open up iBooty and you'll get a screen similar to this. What you're going to do is shut your phone off and put it into DFU mode like you did to restore the custom Snowbreeze software. So once it's off you're going to go ahead and select your device and it'll be the only one down there probably you select that and it's going to start its process and it's going to make you put it in DFU mode again it's going to tell you how to do it so you just follow the steps home for five or power for five power and home for about ten or until the Apple screen goes off and then just let go of power and keep holding the home button. Now as soon as it dings, just like now, you're going to get this new setup here. And it's going to say waiting for device and tell you it's booting. And then you'll see your phone boot up into the Apple screen. Now if it doesn't boot the first time, which sometimes it will happen, you'll just rerun it because what you're waiting on is for your screen here to say something like LLB loading LLB and if the Apple on your screen turns on you will be fine so we'll just wait for that to boot up here Once it finally gets boot up, you will be able to go into Cydia and actually load it up and everything will be good. You'll be able to install tweaks and apps and things like that. So now I didn't I set mine to set up a new iPhone so I don't have any of my settings set up. I'll go over there. Unfortunately for me, this didn't work out the greatest, so it's going to make me start all over because my city won't open up. It's good that we run into this, so you'll know it's it can be an issue that'll happen from time to time, but 
It's nothing major. Just start it all over again after selecting your device and go into DFU mode again. Now most of the time you will only have to do this one time. I don't really know what's what the issue is right now, but there we got the uh, uploading LLB. And now once our phone boots, we should have City on it and everything will be great. So there you have it. All you have to do now is install apps and tweets. If you like my videos, please rate, please subscribe, comment. Um, I do my best to answer comments in a timely fashion. Everything you guys post kicks right to my email and my iPhone, so I try to respond as quickly as possible. This has been another Mr. Styles production, and I appreciate everything. Thank you, and have a wonderful evening.